Hi, my name is Dominique Hurley. I'm an intuitive artist and a light worker, and welcome to Connections, my show that's running on right now. And I wanted to introduce you to some of my labyrinth paintings. This was a project that I did this spring, and it was to honor my labyrinth walks. It's a very meditative process, but every time I was walking it, it felt different. Sometimes, like Sky Dancer here, I felt like I was floating in joy and just dancing my way through it, because there's always lovely music playing and another time I use it as a tool to access my intuition I ask a question before I walk into the labyrinth and as I'm walking I get messages I get feelings I get memories and so can you so it, really give it a try if you've never walked a labyrinth and the last one there is peace flow and this one was just about you know you walk in peace you go to the center you find peace and you bring that peace back out with you it's all about connecting to your inner peace. And these are three of the five labyrinth pieces that I created that were, that became the working pieces for my huge The Journey, which you see over here, just a little quick glimpse before we come back. So this is The Journey all the way home to myself. So I integrated the five labyrinth pieces that I did into this chakra balancing uh, piece. But to come back here, I'm holding this paintbrush, not because I'm pretending to paint, but if you come and experience one of these, pick up one of the paintbrushes that's on the windowsill beside and journey your way through, following the lines and breathing as you go. And just experience this as a finger labyrinth. As you journey, it becomes a meditative exercise. And you can experience it in many different ways, but make your way to the center and then back out again as a way to interact and connect with the art and connect with your higher self and connect with your angels and whatever your belief system. On a different this way. is what I call my masterpiece of this year for sure. It's a culmination of a series that I had done on labyrinths to honor that walk of the labyrinth, but also the walk through our journey of life. There's about 20 layers of paint in this painting that was working the energy of the chakras. I do energy healing work as I'm working in the painting. So a lot of people, when they come into a room, they feel the energy, not just on a visual uh, way, but also on a sensory way. And this piece has two labyrinths on it. One, the Chartres style labyrinth from uh, the cathedral in France. And you can take the paintbrush. This is a piece that's interactive. It's really the focus for meditation, this painting, where you can go and travel through the labyrinth with the paintbrush to feel the different ways to help you bring that piece into your life. And sometimes it's about accessing your intuition. Sometimes it's about just feeling the joy and, and that being absolutely mindful because you will end up skipping the walls if your mind is scattered. So it really helps you center in on yourself and ground. And that's what the Tree of Life is all about, all the way from Mother Earth here, who has um, the Seven Circuit Labyrinth, uh, and the roots, and within the roots are all these seeds of jewels that you have planted in your life before you were born, and now in this lifetime, and past lifetimes, no matter what your belief system is. And I've separated the two canvases so that from the roots there's an altar and on this altar are the seven different chakra stones with the symbols that you can use and hold as you meditate, uh, different, depending on which chakra you're working on. There's also this pendant with the seven chakra stones, so it's very much not about separation but of knowing that there is space in the root system that you are still planting and nourishing the roots and the foundations of who you are as you grow and dance into the full being honoring the rhythms of life through the four seasons honoring our guardian angels and our team of divine helpers as you reach towards source energy and peace so that you are grounded and connected um, this piece, as I said, is really a culmination of a lot of my work, but it was also a very important process piece for my own uh, inner self. And 80 hours of dot making here, which to me were perfect, wonderful bliss time. As you can so see, this is happy. This is what she's called, and it's all about that yoga tree pose, which I'm so enamored with because it's about that dynamic stillness. But this is also the tree of life, which, believe it or not, after painting the big, the journey piece, which is like a huge one, 
I spent 80 hours on that one making dots and I wasn't finished. I needed to do more dot making. I called it dot therapy. So this tree is another celebration of that dot, how everything is vibrating energy and how really raising our energy and, and our vibration is part of our job as vibration managers to attract more of what brings us joy in our life. So one of the ways that I use to connect when, I mean, we live, face it, we live in a very busy world, a very noisy world, and when it's not noisy enough, we create our own noise. For example, I can turn on Netflix if I don't want to hear my guidance. It's just, we just create a lot of noise, or just from the anxiety and worries and thoughts that we have in our head. And one of the best things for me is to go out in nature. And so this series here is really about honoring that, that connection to nature and how nature allows us to connect at a deeper level not only to ourselves but something that's greater than us so you've got a lot of textured pieces here like this one here with glass beads it depends on the lighting and how you catch it but night of the firefly nesting in peace reborn um, you've got here oh if you come and see this one from really up close you'll see it's a whole bunch of ants it's called the answers in the question and that all these little ants are part of the question mark and it's about the teamwork. Ants have a lot of symbolism. It's all about connecting through nature. So in my paintings, I love to honor nature. This is a very dimensional painting. Uh, I use light molding paste, granular gel, glass beads. If you see it, it's very textured and many, many, many layers. I always paint in layers and there's always symbolism uh, that's hidden that you don't see, but you still feel the energy. And side by side, and some people can't see this, so I'm not sure if you're seeing it or not, but this is not only one face in black and white, like the yin yang, the male and feminine energy, but there's a woman lying in bed looking up, and there's a man looking at her. So it's about the couple, it's about unconditional love. And it's also about non-attachment, because some of the layers that are hidden way beneath this, I thought were fabulous, but when you build something new with someone, it's about letting go of your attachment to the past and how you think things should be, which is a process in intuitive paintings. It's like, let go of what you think should be or what was, and let it evolve into something new. Create a new garden and a new reality for yourselves. Accepting the moment, accepting each other, accepting everything. Radical acceptance. So this is a piece on unconditional love, side by side. And, and I just wanted to talk about this series here a little bit. Um, this is a newer one, but these two here are sort of the daytime and nighttime versions of connecting to your inner light, connecting to spirit, connecting to yourself as both physical and energy and I don't know have you ever like just try it right now like get up wherever you are and just put your hands up in the air and just feel how good it feels to be aligned and straight there's a great TED video I don't know if you've seen it about posture and how it affects your mood but also how it affects you how you come across your confidence and in this TED video I used to use it in my classes when I taught English as a second language before students did presentations and some of the students later came back and said I got a job because I went in the hallway before in the bathroom stall and just stood you know tall and just owned my power aligned with myself instead of we keep ourselves so small all of a sudden so this Exaltation and I am are really about connecting, not just to yourself, but to the more that you are. And this one here, which is Rise and Shine, it's about the two in one, the Vesica Pisces, and aligning here, standing on Earth, but aligning to the universal energies of the moon and the sun and in balance, and that wonderful tree yoga pose that I love so much because it's all about balance. Um, and alignment and om with the universe. But this one's quite special. I painted it in December to honor the five steps for a happy, healthy life. It's basically to help you connect to your intuition. And everybody has choices to make in life. And we always have decisions. And sometimes we're uncertain about, you know, are the decisions I'm making right for me? Connecting to your intuition is all about making the right choices for you, no matter what that looks like to the people around you, but also just so that you feel good about your choices and you know that they're aligned with your truth, your higher self, your 
some people call it gut feeling, some people call it their connection to their angels, it doesn't matter what you call it, but it's all about living a happy, healthy life. And this piece that I'm holding here is called Guardian Angel. I am very much about thanking my angels, and we all have angels. Our team of divine helpers is how I call them, angels, guides, source energy. It doesn't matter what your belief system, we all have guidance in our life to help you know, guide us. <laughs> That's why it's called guidance. And guardian angel was my way of thanking uh, the intuitive messages that have led me around the world to live a wonderful life. And it's it's a path. It's like pieces of a puzzle that come together. And every time you you sometimes it takes years to see how the pieces fit together and why certain things happen and whatnot. But I've learned to trust from baby steps to leaps of faith that if I get guidance from my angels, I will never be misled. And so this was all about asking and receiving, but also thanking our angels who, when you do ask, will help you. Uh, they don't like to interfere. There's this thing called free will, so you need to ask. But once you ask, you will get the answers. Enjoy it. Come see which is your favorite piece and tell me, even if you go through my website and whatever, or comment below, which, which of my pieces calls to you and why. I love to hear back from you. Namaste.